What's good out there in YouTube land? Today's project, we're gonna design a ring light. You'll need aluminum foil, ties, scissors, a large wreath, and a paper towel holder, and your lights, your LED lights. These lights you can find at Walmart or Amazon. Okay, let's start our project. Okay, here we are. We're gonna use aluminum foil to wrap around the base of the wreath frame. This large wreath frame you can buy at Walmart, and that's where I bought everything. My total is about $23, $22. But you can also find a smaller scale, a smaller size wreath at your local Dollar Tree and only spend a dollar. Everything's a dollar at Dollar Tree. So as you see, I'm wrapping this foil around this wreath. You wanna cover the entire base, make sure it's nicely secure. And I'll wrap it around a few times just to make sure it's where it needs to be. And then I'll cut off some of the excess.
now we have the entire base of the reef covered in aluminum foil. I have started to align my LED lights around the reef. And you'll see twisty ties to hold them in position. One thing you can do is when you buy your LED lights, stretch them out because the plastic will have a coil, a natural coil to it because it's going in a circular pattern. And you kind of want it straight just for the purposes of laying the LED lights around. You're going to have, well, with my reef, it went around three complete times. The fourth time, not all the way around, but I placed some of the lights in position and I went ahead and used the twisty tie. Later, I will cut off the excess twisty ties, but it held the LED lights in place and stopped them from moving. So it was kind of done as a way to help me help maintain the structure and the alignment of the LED lights as I go around. Cause as you can see, they're kind of willy nilly and everywhere. You'll see some right by my left hand that are kind of up, but I will apply the twisty ties, continue to loop it around and secure them and then later I come back and stop and cut the twisty ties off.
now I have the LED lights secured by the twisty ties. I'm going to cut off the excess of the twisty ties so it doesn't interfere with the ring light when it illuminates. As I finish cutting off all the excess twisty uh, ties, I move them out the way. I dispose of those. And now I'm going to fix it to the base of the paper towel holder. Here, I, I kind of took a shortcut. You didn't see me actually do this because it was a little hard to film. But I have the ring like secured to the base of the paper towel holder. And I used about about six or seven twisty ties here. However, there was an issue. Okay, here's the finished product. Here's my ring light. You'll notice here, the hardest part about the ring light is the twist ties right here. Trying to make it stand up with the holder is not as easy as it may appear. I used about 10 twisty ties up here and then a couple down here to kind of stable it out. But overall, it works. And I'm going to show you here shortly, but it's fairly easy with the exception of trying to assemble it together. Now I'm thinking about just taking the ring light and fixing it to my tripod later, but this is how it's going to be for now. And then you'll see that when I put this video together, it's on different days. Make sure you test your lights out when you buy them. Because my problem was my lights. I'm going to show you here now that they work. But when you're in Walmart or if you buy them through Amazon, make sure you test them before you start your project. Because I had to unassemble, un disassemble my ring light and put it back together because the first set of lights did not work. So here it is. It was functional. And I'll show you what it looks like here shortly with and without the ring light. Okay, here I am without the ring light on. And here I am with the ring light on. Thanks for watching my video. Bye.